it will be Manchester United against Villarreal in the Europa League final in Gdansk on May the 23rd. There you have it, a, a night of drama, certainly uh, at the Emirates and more than we expected in Rome as well. But that's how the final lineup. Brian Kerr, I would imagine Unai Emery is a very happy man there uh, in London this evening. Uh, look, I'd say he's hilarious. He was very, very controlled when he approached Arteta to shake his hand at the end of the match. But inside, he must have been saying, this is the shower that sacked me a year and a half ago. I showed him that I'm not a bad manager over these two legs of this competition. He, his record in this is, is amazing. The three wins Sevilla, they got Arsenal to a final. They were beaten by Chelsea, well beaten in the final. But here they go again. With Villarreal, I mean, as I said that last week, it's a population of 51,000 Villarreal. Mm. It's ridiculous. We, we have come to think of them as regulars in Europe that are, are difficult to beat and play a certain way. It's a marvellous performance tonight. Uh, and they had the chance, I felt, before the match because they only can see the 38 yeah. goals in the league this year. Great win, marvellous uh, defensive structure and calm in midfield. Great, brilliant win. Damien, we heard Jerry mention it in commentary there. What might this mean for Mikel Arteta? Is it too much to suggest that Defeat tonight will be a fatal blow to his, his stewardship there, or is there a bigger picture than that? Like I said before the game, you know, he's not been a great season for him. He got away with it last year with the FA Cup. But the question you have to ask is, where do they go from here? They've already sacked Unai Emery, and, and, and look what he's come back and done. If you're going to sack him, where do you go? Um, and, and I'm, not, I'm not defending Arteta, I'm not saying that he, he deserves to stay on, he probably doesn't, but the question is where do you go, are you going to get better, is somebody else going to come in and get more out of the Arsenal team than what Arteta is getting at the moment? Possibly there's a little bit more in it, but mm. the Arsenal problems run far deeper than, than the Mikel Arteta. Well, look, we, we were watching both games, as I'm sure uh, many people at home uh, were, and Arsenal did have their chances. It, it wasn't to be a disappointment there for uh, Neil Smith-Rowe and many of their younger players. Brian, what can Manchester United fans watching expect from Villarreal in the final? Well, they can, uh, the fact that they've got through these knockout rounds, not only beating Arsenal, beat Dynamo Zagreb, Dynamo Kiev, Salzburg, show they're a very, very efficient team. They have good goal scorers. Moreno didn't need to score score tonight. Alcazar, they play 4-4-2. Very disciplined, well organised. Two good centre-halves. See Pau Torres. A lot of talk that he won't be there next year. I'll be all the experienced one playing beside him. Missing Coupe in the middle of the field tonight. And the Spurs lone A fight was also missing tonight. Um, what, what can they expect? They expect a more difficult game than they had against Sociedad when they won 4-0 in Spain or against Granada when they sailed through both matches 2 not in each game without a lot of bother. I think it'll be, it'll be more like the Sevilla team that beat them last mm. year, even though Sevilla are well ahead of them in the table. They've shown their gutsy, gutsy side by going and winning over two legs against Arsenal. And uh, Unai Emery, of course, knows how to win this competition. Did it three times with Sevilla, and he will take Villarreal into that uh, Europa League final.